and we are recording, so I guess you can start anytime. Oh, wait, okay. wait, wait, wait. You got to adjust the camera a little bit. You're too close to the edge again. If you're looking for serious, in-depth beer information, well, you're listening to the wrong show. But if you want fun and entertaining beer information, you've come to the right place. It's another Beer Guys TV podcast. Hey, welcome everyone to a Beer Guys TV broadcast. And we're not at the studio in Glencoe or, or at the studio in Darwin or... Well, we're or, at my backyard studio. <laughs> yeah, well, we're, we're in... We're in we're in Glencoe, but we're not at the studio. We're at uh, Gary, uh, Carol's house because it's the Corona thing. So we're, <laughs> we're we're doing our part. We're not out out mingling. So no, we're we're not Corona Coronizing. That's right. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're not. Trying, we're trying not to be virus victims. So right. <laughs> but, but, but we but we are doing our part. I was gonna say uh, we are doing our part by by. Uh, Staying at home and or in our backyards or whatever, and not yeah. spreading this thing around. But you know what the uh, the, the the brews must go on. We must keep <laughs> brewing because people need to know our opinion on these beers. <laughs> they do for sure. <laughs> yeah. Or at least it's it's our opportunity to at least uh, experience some kind of normal and uh, enjoy and uh, hopefully enjoy some some different beers as well. So, right. Um, yeah. So we thought so, today, you know, we both have this in our refrigerators, and uh, I have not tried this one. I, I don't know if you have or not, Shane, but the... I have. Uh, I've, I've, I've had this one. Well, okay, then, then you already have a little bit of an opinion, but hey, <laughs> you know what it is? Sometimes you have it the next time around, it yeah. can change. So. Yeah, exactly. That, um, so, so we're not doing a Corona, just so people know. This is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're question. actually drinking... Uh, uh, a stout today but yes. um and and what do you got there it is a it's a breckenridge brewing nitro irish stout yes uh-huh yeah of course, i've got uh, the same one here and and we had to coordinate this first of all, yeah. we had to figure out how we're going to record this uh together because you know of our sophisticated equipment so we're using um basically like a zoom meeting to record this yeah. Yeah. so the audio might not be the best uh, the video is going to be, best. you know, I guess my, the video on my, my uh, Surface Pro here isn't too bad. And your yeah, iPhone's the, not too bad either. A little bit bright in the background, but I think it's hard to adjust that front camera anyway. Sure. Yeah. But the audio sounds pretty decent. Yeah. Well, good. Well, we'll, do, we'll give it to the old beer guys uh, try and do the best we can. But Exactly. Uh, this beer, of course, Breckenridge, Colorado. And we, we've actually done a couple of beers from these guys over the years. But uh, this is something fairly new for them, I believe. And uh, Breckenridge, of course, known for skiing, but they've also got a heck of a brewery there. Of course, Colorado in general, a ton of uh, craft breweries. And this is just one of many. But uh, they've got some uh, really good beers. So anxious to try this one out. It was, it was very reasonable, I must say, at the, at the, uh, yeah. at the, at the liquor store. So I was surprised. Price, right? yeah. When I first bought it, uh, I looked at I, I, I thought, is this like, going on like on sale or something it was 12.99 <laughs> for a 12 pack for, yeah. and then there's 16 ounce cans, cans as you can see yeah. <laughs> i mean that's a yeah. buck of beer yeah gotta that's, like it yeah that's not that's not bad at all i mean that's that's a you know a good daily uh drinker there <laughs> <laughs> well we'll see we'll see yeah oh i might have my phone uh just went off um so but yeah and, and this is um I, the first beer I had from Breckenridge was a vanilla stout oh, years ago, yeah. Yeah. and um, that was that was delicious. I, I mean, yeah. it still is. I, it's one of my. I'll, I'll have one of them once in a while and get it, them in a six pack and in bottles. Yeah. We've caught that on tap a few times at uh, different places, and that's always a good good uh, go to if you don't have something special you want. That's uh, like okay, yeah, we'll that. yeah, yeah, and that's uh, that's always a good one. And now. My, my phone wasn't going okay, so I was on their website. But I noticed that that they have other uh, nitros in their series as well. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, they have a, a nitro vanilla porter. Okay. Which uh, which is I, I could imagine that's pretty good. They have an orange cream ale. Yeah. And a nitro, uh, nitro's pumpkin spice latte, 
and then mm -hmm. a chocolate orange stout. That one sounds interesting to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like those oranges that you get at Christmas time, those or the like the chocolate oh, oranges yeah. candies. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can imagine Carol would like those. I think there's someone to cover this, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I bet that would pair well with with uh, with this particular beer. It probably would. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. No kidding. Well, very well, good. Let's pour up a glass. Well, yeah. What good is the glass? If, if, well, look at, look at you. Well, we, well yeah, I see. Yeah. Look at that. Picked Look these up you. actually last weekend. Uh, I bought a couple glasses from uh, from Pugs or Hayes. Yeah. Uh, and I figured that's a perfect glass to have the stout in, you know. Absolutely. Well, and I think we should crack them open. What do you say? Let's Parker? do that. So, okay, oh. Yeah. She's like, yeah, what are you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Now you'll notice it's got it's got that puck in it that was kind of made famous by Guinness. Yeah, where it yeah. injects nitro or ni you know, nitrous oxide basically through the uh, – or nitrogen, not nitrous oxide. <laughs> and they yeah. give you <laughs> – oh, We're really going to get goofy. <laughs> but yeah, it puts it, the nitrogen through, and then it, it of course, um, you pour it. It should foam pretty decent, but I do notice that it doesn't foam quite like a Guinness. Yeah, right. Yeah, it doesn't have that cascading effect uh, so not, much. Not as much. I mean, it's light. You can kind of see it. I don't know if you can see it there. We'll see what the camera picks up. Yeah, a little bit. But, uh, yeah, and so there is some of that. It gives kind of a, a creamy head on there. Yeah. Now oh, you can yeah. really see that logo. Look at that. Oh, oh yeah. Look Pugs. at that, Pugs. <laughs> Just for you. <laughs> Hayes Public House in Buffalo. That's they're, right. They're, they're, still, they're still selling growlers and stuff. So stop by yeah, and they're doing them. crawlers now. They're doing cans. Oh, they are? Good. Yeah. Oh, good. You better, well, yeah, you'll be happy about that. Yeah, there's a couple there I'd like to bring home. Yeah. For sure. And some beer, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, this isn't that kind of show. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well uh, yeah. let's uh, yeah. let's take a short break and do some tasting. Okay. And then we'll come back and, and let's see what the uh, – uh, yeah, give it our old uh, review here. Okay. That sounds good. Be back with more here with the uh, Nitro Irish Stout from Breckenridge Brewing right after this break. woo -hoo. We know that one serving just isn't enough, so there's more Beer Guys TV on tap and coming up. Beer Guys TV brings you beer reviews and beer-related information in a fun and clean, entertaining way. Our website is a combination of beer articles, reviews, products, videos, and now podcasts, too. And you can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Check those out. Please take a moment to visit our sponsors as well and tell them that you heard about them or saw them right here on Beer Guys TV. That will allow us to continue to bring you entertaining beer reviews and other fun stuff your way. And remember to enjoy your beer in moderation, never drink and drive, and always use a designated driver. That way you'll be around to enjoy more beer tomorrow. Hey, thanks for listening. And now, back to the show. Well, welcome back, everyone, to the Beer Guys TV Brewcast. We've got Shane Zeppelin in Litchfield, Minnesota. we got uh, Carol and Greg here in Glencoe. We are, we are being... We're following proper Corona protocol. We are not uh, moving around. And we're outside playing some beanbag where I kind of waxed her again, but uh, <clears throat> usually she did. So I have, to, I have to gloat while I can with our Beer Guys TV uh, beanbag. Oh, yeah. Show. Yeah, so it was a nice Well, we need to get together and play on those this summer. Uh, Absolutely. We'll have a little uh, Fourth of July picnic or something. There we go. We're gonna, we'll, uh, we'll implement some uh, – I don't know, some kind of, so, so some goal to shoot for, beer involved, no doubt. <laughs> uh, so, of course. Uh, but on this brewcast, we're talking about Nitro Irish Stout from Breckenridge Brewing out of Breckenridge, Colorado. This is a 4.8% on the ABV. I don't have an IBU. I don't imagine it's a whole 38. lot. Oh, 38. Oh, yeah, 38. Yeah, 38. I'll, I'll read up from the website here. Okay. Yeah, so, this hey, is... Read away there, Shane. That's why I he's will... a Yeah, I'll tell you what it, what they say about it. Okay. Um, it says a classic world, uh, old world. Whoa, we've got a loud plane going over. I don't know if you can hear that or not. <laughs> I can hear the birds. Can you? Yeah. That That's springtime. Oh, yeah, I like it. Yeah. Uh, springtime in the backyard. 
Okay. Uh, a Go classic ahead. old world style with the mesmerizing magic of nitro and a colorful Colorado spirit brewed res ah, with roasted Irish barley for a rich malty flavor. The memorable sensory nature nitro stout uh, nods to the welcoming adventure that our home state's all about. I did a little pomish in there. Uh, yeah. I got a little pomish. It's an Irish stout. They got to yes. have a of some kind. Got a little, uh, yeah, a little bit of pomish. Um, pomish. Yeah, uh, it's okay. So, so of course, like I say, the the little puck in there, the the nitrogen filled puck, is famous from Guinness. They they did that, yeah. you know, many years ago. And uh, I know in a, in a can of Guinness, it, you do get a lot more cascading. I I don't know if it injects more. I don't, whatever yeah, the maybe. yeah so and i have not i have not tore one of these apart you can excuse, yeah knock it loose ah nope Arr. come on out of there oh this is missing no it's uh, i can see it in the bottom yeah but you can hear it rattling in there sometimes but uh in any case oh hey by the way this is what it comes in oh there you go i got the there box there um yeah. 12.99 yeah, I, I'll I'll start the review if you don't mind. All right, start and fire away. All right, so like I I've had this this twelve pack I bought a while back, so so uh, I've had a few of these, and it's a it's a nice light, easy drinking, I would say an afternoon beer kind of a thing. Sure. Um, a little thin, but that's kind of it's it's like a, a Guinness is the same way. Mm -hmm. Um, I I. It's got a, to me, a richer, maltier flavor than Guinness has, uh, if you're going to compare it to a Guinness. But it's also thinner on the bubbles. So it just doesn't, it's creamy, but it just, I don't know, it leaves something want, more wanting. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, given the price, you know, 13 bucks, a 12 pack of 16 ounces. Yeah. Be because of that, and and it is it is a decent stout. I mean, it's not horrible. If if you're not into the heavy dark beers, I'm gonna give it a buy it for oh. that reason. Interesting. Um, yeah, like let's say you're you're somebody who is. I mean, you like Guinness, so you do like Guinness, uh, but you don't like anything stoutier than Guinness. <laughs> sure, yeah. Okay, right. because there's a lot of stout beers that are really. Uh, rich yeah. and heavy and some are sweet oh. for somebody who doesn't like that heavy stuff this would be good so and it's yeah. class it's still a buy it uh, I've had worse flavored stouts that are thinner and you know but like I say for the price 13 bucks for 12 cans of 16 ounces right. it's, a, it's a buy it for me for that reason okay fair enough fair enough I okay, Carol. Carol. <laughs> All right, ladies first. All right. Yeah. All right, Carol. What do you think? Um, I agree. So, no, no. This is somebody who really does like stouts, and so. I and I like the heavy ones. So yeah. for me, this is very thin. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's very smooth, though. I mean, like you said, there's not a whole lot of carbonation. It's very smooth going down, and I get just a hint of maybe some smoke because I'm not a smoke fan. Oh, uh, it's yeah. Not bad. But just the top. That. Um, it's like you said, it's not bad. Um, but for me, I'd say I'd try it. Okay. That's it. That's it. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Make sure she's done because I want to get the wrath of Carol, you know, or upside the head. That's right. No. I've never seen it. No, me, me <laughs> either, but I don't want to tempt fate. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I kind of concur with both of you guys. It, it, it does kind of, it's kind of thin body. It doesn't have a, it could use some more body to it for me. It's, it's thin and watery off the front. But that, a lot of people don't realize a nitro beer, they'll go, oh, how come it's kind of, a nitro really smooths out a beer. So mm -hmm. if you ever go to a bar and you've got something like nitro, it, beyond Guinness, you'll notice that it takes that edge off. And that's what, a, lot, a lot of times what people like about it. Because it does smoothen out, makes it an easier drinker for, for some people. Uh, it's almost a little bit, too thin for, for my normal taste. I too mm -hmm. like dark, heavy, darker, heavier beers a lot of times. Um, it's got that dry, dry finish to it, um, but it is a, it is a classic Irish uh, dry stout. So I guess that goes with it. 
4.8% on the ABV makes it uh, pretty sessionable. And uh, the, the ABVs, what would you say, 38 on the ABV? Or oh, the IBUs, I mean. IBUs, yeah, 38. Uh, so it doesn't have a lot of uh, hot bite. No. 38, so, yeah, no. 4.8 on the ABV, 38 on the IBU. There we go. Get that straight. Right. Um, it's all right. I give it a uh, soft try it myself because you're right. The price for 13 bucks, you get a 12 pack of big cans. Hey, what the heck? You can fill up the fridge and, and uh, save on the budget. And, and it's a, it's a decent offering. It's just not outstanding. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. Yeah. Like maybe some chocolate or some, or a, like a cigar or. A, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I was yeah. going to. I was going to have a cigar with it. I'll have to wait till the well, next Well, look at day. you. Yeah. He's a heavy he's game on you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. yeah I was gonna light. Light. You, got to, you got to talking too much, and I, I forgot about even uh, uh, lighting this thing up. Well, yeah. <laughs> it happens. It happens. <laughs> but uh, so we've got a, a, a buy it and a couple of try it. So check it out for yourself. If you want to throw something extra in the fridge to have some variety and, and see what you think, let us know. And uh, – We'll compare notes, but yeah, I get dented the can now because I was trying to get the widget out. The widget—that's what they call it. Widget, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Not a puck. A uh, widget. Yeah. I'll just do this. This is there. There you. There you go. That's easier. <laughs> yeah. That looks good. Yeah, it looks better. If you slide it over to your uh, left a little bit more. There, it looks good. Yeah. Now it looks really good. <laughs> there. <you go. laughs> Sorry, Shane. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> all right. I think that's going to do it for this one, Noah. I think so. All right. Well, uh, from Shane Zeppelin's backyard, from Carol's uh, kitchen counter, basically, and at her house, and, and we wish you all to be safe and uh, be careful out there. Wash those hands. We actually wash the can before we open it up. And, uh, you know, can't be too careful right now. So That's right. In, in the meantime, we'll keep drinking beer and reviewing them for you. Check them out. And uh, check out the new BeerGuysTV.com, by the way. Shane did a new little work on here. So. That will be, yeah. it's it's a work in progress, but hey, we had to change yeah. it up a little bit. There you go. So uh, anyway, for uh, producer Shane Zeppelin, for Carol, I'm Greg. And until next time, a virus free. Here's to ya. There you go. Good job. Let's hope it's a job, right? Mm. <laughs> Beer Guys TV reminds you to drink responsibly. Never drink and drive and always use a DD. Be sure to expand your beer list by trying something different. Remember to check out BeerGuysTV.com and find us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Thanks for listening to this Beer Guys TV podcast. Sponsor messages you hear on our podcast are paid endorsements unless otherwise stated. These messages help us bring Beer Guys TV to you. We encourage you to support our sponsors so that we may continue to provide quality entertainment and information. Our reviews are honest opinions. Your opinion and taste may vary. We encourage you to try beers and products for yourself and form your own opinions. We'd love to hear from you. Tell us what beer you like and send us your suggestions for us to review. You can contact us at beerguystv at gmail.com.